Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise for the presentation of the colors by our award-winning Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise for the presentation of the colors by our award-winning Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard, commanded by Cadet Alexander Martin. And for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by our Student Council President, Gilbert Jean Louis. We also ask that you please remain standing for our Senior Choir's presentation of our National Anthem under the direction of Mr. Ed Robertson. At this time, Senior Choir members, please come forward. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank you, Gilbert, Mr. Robertson, and the members of our senior choir. Good evening, families and friends of the graduates of the class of 2014. It is my pleasure and honor to be the first to welcome you to the 48th Annual Commencement Exercise Ceremony, honoring the Jackson Memorial High School class of 2014. Please give a warm welcome to our honored guest present this evening, Dr. Cheryl Simone, Interim Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Scott Beckerman, Assistant Superintendent. Ms. Michelle Richardson, Business Administrator, Board Secretary. Ms. Barbara Fierro, Board of Education President. Ms. Teresa Shiaza, Board of Education Vice President. Board of Education Members, Mr. Thomas Colucci. Mrs. Shannon Dye, Mr. Michael Hanlon, Mr. Marvin Krakauer, 
Jackson Memorial High School principal, Mr. Kevin DiEugenio. <laughs> Assistant principals, Mr. Brunson. <laughs> Mr. McDevitt. <laughs> and Mrs. Novak. <laughs> Director of Guidance, Mr. Kurt Holtz. <laughs> Mrs. Teresa Lisitra, Director of Humanities. Director of Assessment, Mr. Dan McGinsky. <laughs> Supervisor of Special Education, Mrs. Jennifer Carney. <laughs> Supervisor of Special Education, Mrs. Tracy Decker. <laughs> Supervisor of Science, Mrs. Tina Topoleski. <laughs> and this year's Senior Class Advisor, Mr. Polano. Friends, Jaguars, countrymen, lend me your ears. Mr. JMHS coming at you live from the 08527. I'm here as senior class president to finally say, we made it. <laughs> We've been through 720 days of high school, or about 4,658 total hours. And yes, I did the math myself. So what have you learned in that time? Sure, we've all been through four English classes, three math classes, three science classes, and so on. So maybe you've learned how not to kill a mockingbird, how to graph a cosine function, how, or how to calculate torque. And if so, that's great. You've had a successful high school career, and you paid attention in class. So what's next? It's time to take our own subject of expertise and turn it into a career. Very few freshmen have walked into high school with the solidified idea of what they wanted to do, and that's OK because it's up to us while we're in high school to figure that out. But here we are now. It's June 24th, and you're not required to ever walk through those doors again. <laughs> but you should. Make sure you come back and visit whenever you get the chance. Never forget your time here. Never forget your life as a Jaguar. We have students here going to colleges all over the country on all sorts of scholarships. Just to name a few, UPenn, University of North Carolina, Villanova, Penn State, Ohio State, Northeastern, Lehigh, Bucknell, and NYU. The Jackson Jaguar legacy continues to spread throughout the United States of America. Other Jaguars are going to college on athletic scholarships, and others have answered their nation's call to arms. This audience is full of varsity athletes from every sport. This audience is filled with members of the band, ROTC leads in the musical, members of two, three, four honor societies. That is what made high school valuable. There's only so much you can learn in the classroom. What you learn outside of it with your fellow Jaguars is what's truly valuable. What you are participating in right now is not some high school club. We have the national champion Jackson Jaguar marching band. The baseball team won a state title just a couple of weeks ago. Our bowling team three-peated as champions. Our ROTC was named a distinguished unit by the United States Air Force 11 years in a row. And how many of you saw Les Mis this year? That Javert guy was pretty cool. In some way or another, you have all added to the legacy of Jackson Memorial High School. You are participating in something great, something that has prepared you for the life ahead of you, both in academics and as a person. I can say this now, but in a few minutes, this audience will be filled with the alumni of sports teams. This audience will be filled with alumni from the band, ROTC, Drama Club, and Honor Societies. And every single one of you in this audience will be an alumnus of Jackson Memorial. That will stay with you forever. Whether you're ready to make a break for it or you're gonna have to be dragged out, you will not forget your time here. You will not forget your friends, you will not forget your teachers, and you will not forget your experience in high school. But now, it's time to learn from it. Keep on building your life and make it even better. I want to take this opportunity to thank our parents, the people that motivated us when we needed it the most, the people that brought us our homework when we forgot it at home, and the people that yelled at us to just put your phone down already and do your, work, do your homework. <laughs> Mom. It's thanks to you that we are where we are today. The greatest gifts you could give your children are the roots of responsibility and the wings of independence. This quote describes the next two months perfectly. So fellow students, before you leave for college, make sure you hug your parents and let them know that you appreciate them because they deserve it.
I would like to thank Mr. DiEugenio and the rest of the administrative staff for all that you've done for us these past four years. We're the first graduating class that you've had for all four years, and I don't mean to brag. Well, I do. But this is one of the best, most well-rounded graduating classes Memorial has had in a while. A big part of that is thanks to you. I would also like to thank Mr. Polano for being an absolutely outstanding class advisor. I speak for the entire class when I say that we are so grateful for all the things you've done for us. The prom was amazing, and it really was a pleasure working with you, so thank you. Thank you to everyone. It's the end of an era for us, and I wish you the best of luck in whatever challenge you choose to tackle next. When it's time for you to leave this school, leave your job, or even leave this earth, you make sure you've worked hard enough to make sure it mattered you were ever here. Every minute spent at Jackson Memorial has mattered, and we've become better people because of it. Have a fun, safe summer, and go Jaguars. It is now my privilege to introduce our interim superintendent of schools, Dr. Cheryl Simone, to share her remarks for the class of 2014. Parents, Board of Education members, honored guests, and the Jackson Memorial High School graduating class of 2014. This is a class of many talents and many achievements. As you will discover this evening, this is a class deserving of many awards and scholarships. I hope you always strive to perform your best, make your parents, your friends, and teachers proud, and always take a chance in life to experience new adventures and meet new people. You will become a better citizen of the world. This night is about inspiration, dreams, and success. Success sounds trite to say, but success is a journey, not a destination. It is how high we bounce after we hit bottom. If we meet adversity along our journey, then we need to learn from the people and from the situations that have provided us with roadblocks. We must creatively divert our course to circumvent the roadblock only to later return to the original direction that we intended for our lives. Success is learned, then earned. Through the encouragement of your family, friends, and teachers, I believe that you must reach high because our stars are hidden within each of us. We need to dream deep because every dream precedes a goal and our dreams become our reality when there is a goal to achieve. Then we set and achieve another goal, and then another goal. I have been very honored and proud in my short time here in Jackson to have become part of the Jackson family and to see just how caring and special the students and staff are in this wonderful district. In the past two weeks, I have attended the fifth grade moving up ceremonies in the elementary schools. And at one school, I was so touched by a story told by a fifth grader that I wanted to share it with you this evening. It's a story about reaching for the stars within each of us. The fifth graders were asked to write an essay on their memories of their time in that particular elementary school. The student with the winning essay would have a chance to read it at the moving up ceremony. The principal chose two essays because they were so good. I was extremely touched by one of the essays, and I asked if I could share it with you this evening. The fifth grade student who wrote the touching essay told everyone that this year was her first year in Jackson. And even though she didn't have a lot of memories of the school, she wanted to share her greatest memory. I will call her Julia to protect her privacy for our story this evening. Julia said, and I quote, my greatest memory here at the Jackson School is making new friends. In my old school, I really didn't have any friends. In Jackson, I have friends that accept me for me. That's all I ever really wanted. To be honest with you, I cried myself to sleep every night, just wondering what it was like to be yourself. 
because nobody bothered to talk to me or even try to get to know me in my old school. Now that I'm in Jackson, people did want to get to know me and then soon discovered that I'm not the quiet one in the corner, but I'm fun, I'm colorful, weird, and random kind of girl. Now I don't cry myself to sleep because now I know what it's like to have friends, to be myself around people, to not stay quiet, and to not feel like somewhere in my heart there's a puzzle piece missing. Thank you, Jackson School, for my new best friends, for filling in that missing piece in my heart, and for the memories. Well, after that little 11-year-old girl read her essay, there was not a dry eye in the gymnasium that day. She captured the essence of Jackson and how the students in this school district reach out to others and accept them for who they are. The future belongs to those of us who believe in the beauty of our dreams. For me, my dreams will always include laughter, my family, and just like Julia, I love making more friends along my life's journey. Some of you may have similar dreams to these. I believe that success in life is not the one or two great achievements that occur, but rather the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out, the consistency of your actions. Having a, having a genuine interest in people, caring for those less fortunate or different, and being kind to all is very important because kindness and acceptance are everything. As Julia found out when she came to Jackson, she was accepted. Please remember that success is not a destination that equates to a happy life, but rather success is a journey through a happy, rewarding, and fulfilling life. Good luck, much success, and great happiness to the Jackson Memorial High School class of 2014. Thank you, Dr. Simone. And now it is my privilege to introduce our Board of Education President, Mrs. Barbara Fierro. Good evening, Jackson Memorial High School graduating class of 2014. The Memorial High School fa faculty and the family and friends gathered here tonight in your honor. It is my pleasure to be here with you on this special evening along with my fellow board members. Today is a celebration of the completion of your high school years. It's quite an accomplishment and I hope you're proud of yourselves because we are all very, very proud of you. As the Board of Education, we take pride in the role we have had to create an academic program that helps shape you. But while we are behind the scenes, it's the people on the front lines who have done the heavy lifting, your parents and families. And let's take a moment right now to thank them for all they've done to get you here tonight. I'd like to take a moment to thank the teachers, administrators, and staff members who helped you all along the way. High school is done. And for many of you, maybe the years were long and the completion of this phase of your life is a blessing. For others, time may have flown by and you might be a little bit sad to say goodbye. And for some of you, the future might seem a little bit scary. I suspect all of you share the common feeling of being finished with something. And that's good. A day like today is the perfect time to stop and recognize that you have completed an important and wonderful phase in your life. But although high school is finished, I hope you know that you, you are not. I've been through this with five children and trust me, you are so not finished. You have taken shape, but you are still forming. I found a piece of advice last week that spoke to me as I prepared for today. It was on that ever-powerful, ever-knowing, and wisdom-filled kingdom known as Instagram. It read, look closely 